Well, happy Hanukkah, everybody. 2021. Tonight is the 8th night, the 5th of December. And as you can see, the candles are long burned out, as you can see by the crazy amount of wax that is formed. This first one, I don't know what the deal was, but that burned faster by far than any of the other ones did. And it left just this pile of wax there. And I know someone's going to make an R-rated joke about what that looks like. And you're allowed to do that, because I agree. But... Yeah, last night from the menorah. Of course, we have the same menorah we've had for a long time, or I guess Hanukkah, technically. And essentially, I'm going to show you in this video what I received as gifts, because I did, think, I did uh, get some pretty good gifts this year. And I do also have a video of when I first lit this, so I will show that now. Here are the candles. We just lit them. These ones last for quite a while, so we're going to eat dinner. We lit them before dinner this time. And yeah, this is what it looks like on the eighth night. It looks very nice. And I also have pictures that I took each night. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna flash those up on the screen real quick. All right, just here you go. Take a look. So yeah, that is uh, what the menorah looked like every night. The interesting part is that it started out, we had some nice rainbow candles that burned extremely quickly. And then we ended up switching to the white ones like on the sixth night, but we had a sort of a mix of tall and short ones. So it was like a circus. And then the last few nights we had just the white ones that were nice and tall, about yay high. And they burned nice and slow when they were pretty and all that. So now let's take a look at whatever wants to see the gifts. And for the first gift, we're gonna go chronologically by night. We actually have to go outside because it is on, or rather, well, no, I guess on my car is technically the right term for it. So let's go. Okay, it is 35 degrees and slightly raining out here, so we're not going to stay out here too long. And it's dark, so hopefully you can see it. What's that on my windshield? If it'll focus, my parents decided to get me a windshield cover for the winter to keep frost off the windshield and snow. Also has these little bags that go over the mirrors, which ironically are almost too loose because my mirrors are so small. Basically it goes in the windshield or in the door, lock the door, it's got a strap. It's a Frost Guard brand and it's actually really, really good. I highly recommend one of these if you want one of these. Life saver in the morning. You don't have to spend any time scraping, well it's just rain, but because it's three degrees too warm to freeze, but you don't have to spend any time scraping ice off, whatever. Um, you still have to scrape it off the back windshield, but the difference is the back windshield has the electric defroster lines right on it. This, you basically just have to rely on the blower. <laughs> One, the car getting warm enough for the blower to actually defrost it, and two, getting all that ice off. So now, just gotta worry about the little windows, and of course, this is easy. And the mirrors, too. No frosting on the mirrors or snow. So I love this. This was the first night, and it even covers the wipers. Great gift. I absolutely love this thing. Okay, let's get back inside because it is freezing. Okay, on the second night I got two items that are sort of loosely related. Now the first one or ones, I should say, is a group of items. Unfortunately uh, for you, I am not going to go out back to my car because it is freezing and I missed the opportunity to show it while I was out there. Damn it. But anyways, you're just going to have to take my word for it. I got some CDs and I got, I'll tell you what I got. I got The Car's Greatest Hits. Then I got four Van Halen albums. We got Van Halen 1, 2, 1 and 2, uh, Fair Warning, and Diver Down. So the only ones I have from the Roth era that I don't have actually are Woman and Children First and 1984. But in all honesty, I'm fine not having those. In my opinion, Van Halen 1 was the best DLR album. Then probably Van Halen 2. Fair Warning's all right. Diver Down is meh. Not a lot of hits. And 1984, in my opinion, I know everyone's going to disagree, that album was kind of a dud. Other than Jump, Panama, and Hot for Teacher, that album didn't do much. Woman and Children First was probably their biggest fail because it literally had one good song uh, and the cradle will rock. But anyway, uh, five CDs. Those are all CDs. I have wanted the Cars Greatest Hits, like a real version, not like a ripped homemade version. I've wanted one of those for a long time. That was one of my most wanted CDs. So I have that now, and I can listen to it uh, in peaceful bliss in my car while driving places. And I have been. The second gift is in my closet here, and it is this t-shirt, which is, in fact, a Rolling Stones t-shirt. North American Tour 1975. 
Very cool. I've worn this, and it's very cool. I like it. Okay, on the third night, I got two more things that are also closely related, also having to do with music. One of them is this book, Gina Shock's autobiography, or memoir, and it's signed. <laughs> Should have mentioned that from the beginning. It's not uh, what I would call special, even though it is signed, because I don't think um, she charged for that. At least as, a, as I'm aware, it wasn't a charge thing. You could just pick signed or not. So it is not uh, signed, or it is not paid for, so it's not like worth a lot, you know. So, I don't know. If she, uh, well, hopefully not for a long time, but eventually when, you know, she kicks the bucket like everyone else will eventually, I don't know, maybe it'll be worth something. Probably won't sell it, though, because it's cool. Have yet to look through that. I've looked at it at a glance. Okay, after accidentally showing the back side first, this t-shirt, which I believe is limited edition, the Go-Go's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame shirt with It's About Fucking Time on the bottom. I accidentally showed this side first last time. And it's cool, too, because this has Kathy on it. And I know, because she was gone for a while, it's cool that they have her back and they're reunited. I showed this side first last time accidentally. On the back, very cool. Haven't washed it, haven't done anything with it, because I want to keep it in nice shape, because it's, you know, might be limited edition. So that was the third night. Okay, on the fourth night, we have two more items. One of them is clothing-related. One of them is a little oddity. It's funny, though. Uh, but needless to say, let's just show you that. It's me, Mario. <laughs> fourth night was, if I can grab it, this little, uh, I don't know what you call it, figurine? of a flying turnaround Mario with a little yellow cape. This is actually supposed to go on your rear view mirror and I have fishing line ready, but it's actually heavy and I don't want my mirror to fall again, especially because I currently have a parking pass, although that weighs nothing. I still have the one fish, two fish thing, which I believe this is from Hallmark as well and it's seasonal. So you know, the one fish, two fish thing was from Hallmark, it was seasonal. And then I also have a dream catcher on there as of late that doesn't weigh anything, but I don't trust this thing. <laughs> And I don't want it to hit the windshield. It's, it's heavier than I would like something on there. But it is cool. And I'm probably going to hang it in my office. Maybe from the ceiling fan chain or something. But it's awesome. I love that. Also on the fourth night was this Metallica sweatshirt. I actually had to dig, dig through my dirty laundry basket to find it because I wore it. Uh, it's not a cool original one. It's a bootleg. But nonetheless, it's still cool. Got a nice sun. You got a little sleeve decoration there. It's cool. I like this sweatshirt. Okay, now we're on to the fifth night. On the fifth night, I got two things that are related that are not music related, believe it or not. Well, that nah, I take that back. One of them kind of is. We have this uh, calendar that has rock trivia on it, Rolling Stone, 2022. It's a daily, it's a tear-off. You tear off a page a day, which I know I'm not going to be able to keep track of, but whatever, it's cool. Uh, it's got Q&A and stuff on it about rock and roll. So that was part one. And then the other one is actually right here. And this is a demotivational, full-size wall calendar. Yep. <laughs> 2022, and I believe it or not, you know, it's getting closer to the end of 2021. I was looking for a 2022 calendar and had it in the back of my mind. I don't need one now. I need to use this one. <laughs> Look at it. That's so cool. I love that. I am absolutely and totally going to be using this for my 2022 calendar, like my full on, you know, like I, I have covering some of the, you know, bullshit that you don't need to see. I have this just, you know, on the wall. This is just literally, I, I'm not kidding. I got this calendar off of Facebook marketplace because I just needed a calendar. And literally that just became my 2021 calendar. Like I'm not even joking. That's literally how I got this. But it's awesome now that I have one I can look at every day and be like, yeah, I love that damn thing. <laughs> and it is awesome too. I love the demotivational posters. They're so funny. I mean, it's it's awesome. So yeah, this is what actually I th I would say one of my favorite gifts I've gotten this year. It's uh, this is as seriously awesome. Okay, the sixth night and the eighth night tonight, I would say kind of have a tie for the big, you know, granddaddy gifts, the biggest ones. Tonight was supposed to be the biggest one by far, and then it kind of didn't happen. Probably partially my fault, but oh well. The sixth night. And I'm going to have a whole nother video on this. Don't just know that. The sixth night was actually a whole shitload of vintage car ads. Last year, I got maybe five of them, six of them. This year, my dad bought me 16 different ads, all from the 70s through the 90s, all for General Motors. 
Whatever one's on top, oh yeah, look at that stack. We're gonna have to look through these. Here's just one for example, talks about 1992 Chevrolet models. Luminas and Camaros and Corsicas. <laughs> Next one under that, you got 99 Chevy trucks, pick a random one. 1990 Chevrolet, uh, Chevy trucks, 1989. Go towards the bottom here. Got a couple Buick ones, I think. This one's cool. We got the 1996 Chevrolet Lumina. I know my priorities. <laughs> that one is actually hysterically funny because of some of the absolute false bullshit that they claim in it. <laughs> it's actually bad funny how bad it is. But that was the sixth night. There's 16 of them, although two of them are kind of the same thing. The seventh night was, again, another shirt. Seventh night was this Kiss shirt, which I haven't washed yet. I have a two Kiss shirts, actually. I don't know, is my second one in here? It is not. Well, <laughs> I was hoping I could show the other one, but yeah, this is my second Kiss shirt now. I think my other one is a 1990 World Tour. It's like a pink and green one, kind of, but I like this one more. It's more simple. So that was part one. Part two is actually a poster from Spencer's. Now, I was going to show this because I went to Walmart today to try and buy a frame for it, but they didn't have the frame. So instead, since it's literally rolled up, and it's hard to really show a picture of what it looks like, here is a picture from the Spencer's website of the exact poster that I got. It's sort of a psychedelic smiley face. I like psychedelic stuff, and it should go really well with the poster that I already have from Spencer's. The Wonderful Mushroom Man, which under a black light glows, and yeah, it has been abused, and it's, it needs some love. But hopefully, we can fill all these walls at some point with cool posters from Spencer's. I already got some here, and, but that was the seventh night. One of my longest regretting decisions in life was in November of 2020, when I foolishly, like a dumbass, decided to sell my Ludwig acoustic drum set when we moved, because I don't need this old thing, I don't play it anymore. My God, that was a bad decision. I cannot tell you how mad I am at myself now for selling that damn thing. Because believe it or not, I actually played drums for a long time. I played drums for five years. Uh, lessons five years. I, play I was actually getting pretty good at it, too. I took lessons from 7 to 11 or 12, and I was pretty good at it. Uh, I have a guitar. It's an Ibanez. I've had it. It's made an appearance in some of my videos. Had it since my 11th birthday. I can play some pretty mean smoke on the water on it. <laughs> That's about as far as my abilities go on it. Uh, but I've always wanted a bass uh, just because it's always intrigued me. You know, a lot of people love the guitar. I like the bass because to me, when I hear a song, the first thing I listen to is the bass line because usually that gives me an idea of what the song is going to be or what, you know, how the song is going to sound. So I've wanted a bass for a while and I've been searching for one. And my parents were going to get me one as a Hanukkah gift and that was going to be my gift tonight even though I was going to pick it out. And I actually was going to go look at one today in Kalamazoo and I just missed it. I didn't get the opportunity to. So I did get this book, which is interesting. Uh, it teaches you all about bass, which this assumes you've never played a stringed instrument before, so it showed you technique for, you know, fretting and for strumming, which is obviously a little different for a bass because you don't use a pick unless you're Gene Simmons. Um, but, you know, stuff like this and the chords and the like, you know, the finger positions and the names of the strings. That's stuff that I already know because, you know, I know a little about guitar. Uh, so that was going to be the eighth gift. That's eighth night. That's why I say that was the granddaddy gift. But needless to say, I would say Hanukkah was a pretty good success this year. Uh, most of what I got was either stuff that I either asked for or stuff that I, it's the type of stuff that you don't need it, but it's stuff that when you get it, you're like, oh shit, this is really helpful. The sweatshirts, the t-shirts, that's all stuff that I didn't ask for, but it's stuff that it's like, you get it and you're like, oh, I could use this, holy shit more of these. I like this. This is useful. It's stuff like that. But it's not shit that you don't deliberately need or ask for. It's not like, you know, you get someone, I don't know, like a vase or something. That's not something useful. Yeah, clothes are something that I can always use, especially band ones, because those are cool. So yeah, Hanukkah was a success this year. Okay, one thing I sign off. One of my gifts was a $50 check to a charity of my decision. And this is why I need your help, because I don't know what I want to donate it to. And it has to be a non it can't be um like it couldn't be like the nra or something it can't it, i was told it cannot be political i made the argument that the nra is not political but that didn't get very far with a certain person who's in the upstairs portion of this house and 
I'm thinking maybe I'll donate it to the victims of the Oxford High School shooting. There's an organization going on there with, you know, counselors and reforms and stuff like that. Thinking maybe do that, but I need your help because really I, I don't know. And I got that decision. I was told I could do that on the first night and I still haven't made a decision. So it would be really helpful if you guys can give me some input there. Happy Hanukkah if you celebrate it. And that is going to conclude this video. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and click like if you like what you see and follow me on the web, wix.com slash the elevator world slash fans. Bye-bye and happy Hanukkah.